Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakodash, double honors to El Apostles, the Great Millstone, that taught me this truth and blessings to all you sincerely without their pushing this truth. In all sincerity and faith and honesty. I'm not felt servant for not glad coming to you once again for GMS Temple Bay 12, Prophet Service, St. Petersburg, Florida. Yahweh Shai, the Holy One, not like me, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, putting the spirit on me to do another lesson. Now, um, this is just an uh, update. Uh, just want to go into the this chip prophecy, you know, because uh, it's going to be a heavy prophecy in these last days. You know, uh, we're, we're uh, mainly waiting on the chip RFID chip to be uh, implemented, which is the mark of the beast, and uh, we're waiting on uh, America to uh, go to war with Iran. And those are really two like the major prophecies. And all this, those two major prophecies revolve around the economic collapse, okay? Why? Because the, ec the economic collapse, the financial system, will be brought down, So, w which means there will, there will uh, need to be a an replacement, all right, for this, this current monetary system. All right, so the, the chip will be that replacement, all right? And also, too, every time there was a, a um, you know, that economic collapses or, or some kind of depression or financial situation, they would need to go to war because war generates money. All right, they would need to start a world war. So that's why Iran would be that next key, and the chip, okay, will be uh, implemented. All right, so the sooner you know this system, monetary system collapse, you know, then everything is going to fall into place. All right, everything is going to start rolling. Because now, all right, you can voluntarily go get the RFID chip. You know, there's tons of videos on it. And also, too, you know, the, the main point about the chip is when they make it mandatory. All right, and I'm going to get right into the scriptures. It's Revelation 13 and um, uh, 16. It's lucky. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And who is that? He. The wicked Esau Edom. A.K.A. the so-called white man. All right. Because regardless of, you know, what, who you want to call it. All right. Cool. Because people, people like to say, oh, why, why is it, you know, the so-called white man? It is who it is, man. That's, that's, that's the the man who's playing this role this is the movie of the heavenly father man all right so it has to be identified if it was the chinese man we would say it's the chinese man okay you know so, so you know if, if it is if it was the arab arabs that was doing this we would say it's the arabs you know so it is what it is so all you people that get offended that can't accept you know truth you know it is what it is. This is a so-called white man. So this is Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. Who runs the earth? All right. Into the hand of the wicked. Physical. The hand. That's, that's, that's something physical. So the earth was given to uh, uh, someone in, in, in the flesh. Physical. All right. Regardless of whether they're uh, uh, being controlled by the uh, spiritual demon Satan or not. All right, but someone physically uh, has been given um, what it is dominion over this earth right now. All right, so who is that? The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. Who is that man? Who runs everything? Whose face is on the money? All right, who are the the the? Everybody knows what they say: the one percent elite banking families. What nationality are nationality are those people? You know, because we gotta get to the point. It is what it is. Is is truth, man? The so-called white man, his biblical nationality is Esau Edom. It's just who it is. It's just what it is, man. You know, you people got to stop getting so sensitive. If the black man was elite banking families, I would, hey, I would be saying, oh, the the the, the so-called black man, you know. So is you know, people just it is what it is. Truth is truth, man. All right, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? If not. Where and who is he? Okay, if it's not the so-called white man, where and who is he? You know, is it is some invisible man that's been running around like, damn, like we gotta find this dude. He owns the money. He, he he's making all these unrighteous and, and, and wicked decrees. But where is he? 
You know, he's right there in your face. He's a so-called white man. It's not, you know, it's not you average Joe, not the average Joe uh, white man you see uh, working at the 7-Eleven or working at Domino's. It's not him, but yes, he's a part. He's of that family. He is an Edomite, but it's the, it's the ones you don't see, all right? They're running the earth, okay? So when they say he calls us all, we know who, we know who that's talking about, man, all right? Let's, let's truth sake for all you truth seekers out there revelation 13 and 16 and he calls it all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads okay to receive a mark in that and this is the uh john all right the the vision he 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 saw man all right in these times that we're living in he saw in into the future okay so it says in that right hand in their foreheads so let's see something real quick, because some people like to play around. But what if I get it in my left hand? So what percentage of the people are left-handed? Easy Google search. And this should be like common sense, common knowledge. How often do you run into a left-handed person? All right? How often? Yeah, yeah, you do. But I mean, like, compare it to the uh, a right-handed person, you know? So it says uh, roughly 12% of the world's, it's like roughly 12% of the world is left-handed. So when John was seeing this vision, let's say, okay, cool. You know, I speak as a man when I say this. Let's say he saw the vision for 30 seconds, okay? So if you was just to count, start from the top, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, at least the first 30 of these people are right-handed, all right? And that's just how it would be. So he saw most of the people lifting up their right hand. So, so if you get in your left hand, does that mean you're good? No. If you get in your arm, does that mean you're good? No. But the point is, that's what he was seeing. All right, that's the standard. All right. Most of, when people was going to get chipped, they were lifting up their right hand because majority of the population is right-handed, and that's what he saw, man. All right. So let's not get simple and and, and you know say, oh, what if they get in their left hand? What if I get it in my? You can get it in in your in your in your bottom. All right. In your ear. If you get this chip, you're finished. Alright? But people like to uh try to question things and, and and try to, you know, try to disprove things. That's you know, cause nothing wrong with questioning. But they like to try to, you know, be simple. That's the word to put it. They like to try to be simple, man. Alright? It says and he calls all will small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. So he was seeing some of them. He had to be seeing some of them being chipped getting a chip put in their foreheads, all right? It says, And that no man might buy or sell, save he that have the mark or the name or the beast or the number of his name. Okay? So, buy and sell. You're not going to be able to purchase anything because, once again, it's a monetary system, man. Financial system. That's why this, this you can see them um destroying this system now. This system is going down to the point they have to pump money into the system to keep it afloat, man. Billions. All right? So this system is on life support. It says, Here's wisdom. Let him that understand it count the number of the beast, for it is a number of a man, and his number is 603 score and 6. And that go back to the barcode, UPC code. All right? So, but here's wisdom. You got to have that wisdom to know what, what is this chip? I mean, what is, what is the mark of the beast? It's the RFID chip. All right? So, with that, I'm going to go to this because, like I said, in various topics as well. Because a lot of people like to discredit the New Testament, man. All right? You know, they don't they don't have faith to, you know, believe the New Testament was created by Romans. Or, you know, it's, it's not valid, you know. Because the New Testament takes faith. All right? The law is the law. Anybody can go to the law and read the law. Okay? But even, a, of course, the Old Testament takes faith to believe anyways, too. I'm saying the New Testament it takes faith, man. All right, which means you had to believe in believe on Yahweh Shai, okay? Because it was about Him. All right, which He was already spoken of in the Old Testament, Isaiah the fifty third chapter, being particular. All right, so uh, just you know, just something to back up the the New Testament because scriptures do say precept must be upon precept. Line upon line, line upon line here a little there a little. Alright. But to show you the the chip, the mark of the beast, in the old testament in Isaiah thirty six and six. Lo thou trustest in a staff of his broken reed. 
All right. Now, when you go to that canola, all right, canola, it's pretty much a. Uh, go back real quick. Canola. Come on, load up. Canola. All right, you see images. All right, it's it's pretty much you. It's it's needle, for lack of a better term. It's a needle with um a medical equipment to use to pierce the skin. All right. Now, if you look closely, see if I can get a zoom in on this. There's a hole right there. Look closely. At the end of that needle, there's a hole in there. It's hollow. It's hollow in the inside. All right? There's a hole in there. That's so you can stick the chip inside of there. Okay? The chip with the RFID chip, microchip, will fit right inside of there. Then the, the needle is used to cut the skin, and then you insert, you push the chip underneath the skin. That's how that works. So you can see that's hollow. All right? So let's go back here canola lo thou trusted in the staff of his broken reed all right broken all right so I did another Google search at least I thought I had it so let me go back watch this broken PVC pipe images notice it says broken reed Internet. Look, as soon as you want to do a video, internet one act up. All right, this is a broken PVC pipe. It's hollow in the inside. All right. Now, same thing with the needle. It's hollow in the inside, and this is a broken PVC pipe. Now, let's go back to the scriptures. Lo, thou trusted in the staff of his broken reed. Okay, broken reed. Now, last time, go back to this word canola. A canola from Latin, little reed. That same instrument. Little reed, plural canola or canola is a tube that can be inserted into the body. All right. Often for delivery or removal of fluid, for gathering of samples. In simple terms, a canola can surround the inner or outer surface of a trocar needle, thus extending the effective needle length by at least half of the length. All right. But the point was little reed. All right. So when you read the scriptures, Lo, thou trustest in the staff of his broken reed. On Egypt, where if a man lean, meaning depend on it, because if I lean on a wall, I'm depending on that wall to hold me up. It says, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh, king of Egypt, of all that trust in him. So a lot of our people, going back to Revelation, um, 13 and 16, a lot of our people, are going to lean and trust on, on Egypt, Pharaoh. All right. But the Lord say, on a fact, the Lord said, servants, all right, this is what the Lord said. Therefore, thus said the Lord, Behold, my servant shall eat. All right? Showing how the Lord is going to take care of us in these last times. So when you can't, the point, you ain't going to be able to buy or sell, you ain't going to be able to buy or sell food, none of that. But in these last days, you got to trust in the Lord that he's going to provide. No matter how hungry you get, the scriptures say, be faithful unto death. And the Lord is going to provide for you, man. He said it himself. All right? So, um... I'm going to go back to Isaiah. Broken reed. Of his broken reed. And we've seen what the broken reed is. Where if a man lean it will go into his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh the king of Egypt to all that trust in him. But if thou say to me we trust in the Lord our God. It is not he whose high places. And whose he whose Hezekiah hath taken away. And said Judah and Jerusalem he shall worship before this altar. But this is the point. Verse 6. All right. You can't you can't lean on on that man. All right. If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark, 
in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink. All this stuff works together, man. All right, from the chip to the World War Three, because the Third World's War is gonna be fought with missiles, man. Nuclear missiles. Even Einstein told you that. All right. So this is what's gonna happen to you. This is what's going to happen to you. All right? Because all this stuff connects, man. Do the spirit what I said. We're waiting on a financial system to collapse, which has to do with the RFID chip. And we're waiting on Iran. It's like America to go into Iran. And once America go into Iran, all right, it's going to start out at a, as a conventional war at first. You know, you're going to have troops on the ground or whatnot. But ultimately, it's going to lead to these nukes flying. And this is what's going to happen to you. At the same time, while this war is going on, it's going to be made mandatory to get this chip. All right? Hopefully, I don't get flagged for this. For what I'm doing. So, right here, you know, because not all society is going to be broken down. You know, they're going to cut off certain cities. You know, Esau going to let loose his, uh, his uh, uh, what is it, bio weapons. You know, it's going to be all kind of sickness and illness out here, just like I Am Legend. You know, all kind of chaos and stuff. But certain cities are going to be quarantined off, all right, and going to be still up, you know, upright, living. You know, people going to still be living, you know. But, so imagine this. These people got the chip because the only way you're going to be able to live good in Esau society and be able to conduct yourself is if you get the chip. All right. So imagine these people right here. All of them got. The chip. So imagine this vision. All these people got the chip. OK, cool. They got the chip. Let's continue to live our life. All right. We can buy and sell. Let's go on a playground. Let's play. Let's, let's live our life. You know, you're going to have people continuing on. All right. So let's go on. She chip, the, all the kids chip. Did not the scripture say he calls all? All right. Go back. He calls all, both small and great, rich and poor. All right. The little, the little kids. Okay. So all them, all them gonna get the chip. Her conscience, her conscience calling her, you know, like, look, that's why she looked back. It's because we all have a conscience. And that's what's going to be on the minds of these people that know about this chip and still take it anyway. They're going to take that chip and they're going to be watching their back like, damn, I know what the scriptures say, but I had to eat. Lord, I had to eat. I had to eat. You know, I had to get money. You know, I had to eat. I had to eat. You know, I know what the scriptures say, but Lord, please, I, I, I got to no, know the Lord don't care nothing about that, man. You have to survive, man. You have to. Uh, 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 hold on to him, man. He don't care nothing about that, man. All right. You you have to survive, man. All right. The scripture said it. Let's go back to it. Revelation fourteen and nine. And a third angel followed him, saying with a loud voice, "If any man worship, if any man worship the beast and the image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand." The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High. So, did it say, well, it don't say nowhere in here. There's no loophole in here where it says uh, that, um. Well, where y'all about to head out? Yeah, uh, what, I oh, alright. Alright yeah. then. Yeah, I'm gonna finish the video. Right. It's lucky. But, um, you know, there's no loophole in here that says, well, I know you had to eat, so I'm gonna let I'm gonna spare some of you. It says, if any man worship the beast and receive his image and his mark in his right hand on his forehead or in his hand, the same sh the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High. 
So there's no loophole in there. You got a lot of people that's going to get caught up in this shit, man. All right? That's going to be deceived. Some of the people don't even know that the RFID chip is the mark of the beast. Like some of these camps telling their people, oh, it's not, it's not the, it's not the uh, mark of the beast. All right? But then again, among, you know, some of those that, that do, you know, be, um, be, uh, you know, caught up in this shit, you know, uh, you know, they go to their pastors and ask, Lord, you know, what, what about this? You know, pastor, this, this is what the pastor has already been set in stone. I remember elder, uh, Ramlop bought this out years ago. Let me see if I can get it real quick. Um. Oh man, bear with me. Like I said, this is a uh, various topics. All right, FEMA pacifies FEMA. I believe it's Elder Ramla bought this out a few years ago. Or was it Elder Gabar? All right, kind. That's what. That's what it is. All right. Secret FEMA plans to use pastors as pacifiers in preparation for martial law. A pastor has come forth to blow the whistle on a on a nationwide FEMA program, which is training pastors and other religious representatives to become secret police and forces to teach their congregation to obey the government. In preparation of declaration of martial law, property and firearm seizures and force uh, relocation. All right. All right. Let's get to it. All right. The FEMA directors told the pastors that attend that it is it was their job to help to implement FEMA, the Homeland Security directives in anticipation of any of these eventualities. The first directive was for pastors to preach their congregation Romans 13 the often taken out of context Bible passage that was used by Hitler hoodwink Christians into supporting him in order to teach them to obey the government when martial law is declared so martial law is going to be declared and this that's the precept that they're going to get now let's read Romans 13 let every soul be subject unto the higher powers for there is no power but of God the powers that be are ordained of God. Whosoever therefore resists the power resists the ordinance of God that they may shall resist. It's like it. And they that shall receive to themselves damnation. Okay, does that say, um, oh, well, the government's telling us to get a chip, so take the chip. No. That mean, it means, you know, you don't rise up against this society. All right. You don't rise up against uh, you don't take arms and bear arms. Um, matter of fact, let's get it. Precept upon precept. Let's get it. New Testament. Uh, OK, so I got to search it up real quick. account right here this is Matthew 26 and 52 then said he how shine to him put up again thy sword into his place for all they that matter of fact let's go back so we can see so we can get an understanding of Matthew 13 it's like in Romans 13 let's just get out of the scripture real quick that's Matthew 26 and 51. We'll come back to Romans 13. Because we need to get an understanding of that. Alright. Matthew 26 and 50. I'm going to start at 49. Alright, Con. So I'm going to start at uh, Matthew 26 and 50. And how shall I say unto him? Friend, wherefore art thou come? Then then came they and laid hands on Yahweh Shai 
and took him. All right. And behold, one of them which how it one one of them which were with you how shy stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck a servant of the high priest and smote off his ear. Then said Yahweh unto him, Put up, put up again thy sword into its place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. All right. Thinkest thou that I cannot pray to my father, and he shall pre presently give me more than twelve legions of angels? But how, how then shall the scriptures be fulfilled that thus it must be? So this is a this is a good uh, precept, a good. Uh, explaining you know explanation of um you know romans the the thirteenth chapter all right so when esau come th comes through with his martial law as we were speaking about when fema pac pacifies pastors when esau comes through with his martial law okay um you know we're not supposed to take up arms all right because you're gonna die by the sword because esau's Esau Edom, so-called white man, his blessing was the sword. So you're going to lose, man. On a carnal sense, on a carnal level, you can't come up against the white man with his technology and his weapons, man. You're going to lose. So you're going to take arms. You're going to die by the sword, you know? So that's the that's the um, explanation of that. Like, no. That's, you know, you, you, know, you still hold on to your faith because you know what the Lord said. But you don't rise up and take arms against this man. So... Let every soul be subject to his higher powers, for there is no power above God. The powers that be ordained are the most high. So if the police pull you over, right? The scripture say, agree with that adversary quickly. You pull you over, license registration, give him license registration. All right? So, you know, you, you, you follow the laws of the land, basically, like the basics, man. You know the basics. You fought that you basic you follow the basics of the laws of the land. Alright? You follow their laws. Because there's a difference between their laws and their worship. Okay? So you follow laws the best your ability, that's what that's saying. But you're gonna have some of these pastors right gonna read that to you and you think it's gonna be okay for you to um take that chip. But you you're gonna you're gonna perish. So let's get back to the point. Uh, Revelation 14. All right. Because you don't want to take that chip, man. Worship his beast shall receive his mark. But Revelation 14, 9. And the third angel followed him, saying, With a loud voice, if any man worship the beast in an image, and receive his mark in his forehead, in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of, of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. All right, he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So let's see that judgment when this war kick off. This was going to happen to you. All right, because look, here it is. She heard her conscience calling her, and that's what's going to happen to a lot of people. Like, damn, I know what Revelation 14 and 9 said. Or if you in another camp, damn, I know what Great Millstone was saying. But, man, I, you know, I was, you know, they, they threatened to kill me or, you know, I, I needed to eat. So this this how you're going to be looking, just like her. Like, what that noise is. Because you know judgment is right around the corner. how you're going to wake up in the kingdom. All right? Everlasting shame and content. Your head's going to be down for a while in the kingdom. Are right, you going to feel that pain? 
You're going to be tormented, then you're going to wake up in the kingdom in your right mind. All right? Wake up in the kingdom in your right mind. All right? Um, matter of fact, let me see if I can get that. Ever lasting. I think it's shame, if I'm not mistaken. Shame and contempt. Daniel's twelve, come. Daniel's twelve. And at that time shall Michael stand up. <clears throat> A great pinch which standeth for the children of thy people. There shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in a book. Alright? And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Alright, why? Because you, you know, you you know you didn't you didn't hearken, All right? To the true men of the Lord, all right. Because a lot of these men, what you call them, is they're uh, once again, it's various topics. Judas, I believe, Judas goat, if I'm not mistaken. Judas goat. Judas goat is a trained goat used in general animal herding. A Judas goat is trained to associate with sheep or cattle, leading them to a specific destination in stockyards. This Judas goat will will lead sheep to slaughter, while its own life is spared. All right. While its own life is spared, Judas goats are also used to lead other animals to specific pens and onto trucks. They are fallen out of use in recent times but can still be found in various small slaughterhouses all right so that's going into the physical uh the physicality of it instead of the physical aspect but judas goat all right so they what they do is these pastors all right hey and it's the same thing within the amount of circumcision all right those that know their israelites okay females directed and told pastors that attend all right and judas goat you know, pretty much like, look, you know, you're still going to get your, your temp tax exemption. You, we just need you to get as much as your followers to get this chip as possible and read them this verse. They train them up and we will spare your life. We promise you your family will be all right. This and that. But you leading them to the slaughter, man. OK. You can cause them to get that chip. That's a Judas goat there. You know, by all means, you cannot take that chip. Right, that's it. Um, and for us brothers, you know, you got to play the balance here. For us brothers that do, um, that's in his truth. All right, brothers, that's in his truth. The Lord is going to help us because it's going to be very tempting. Let's kept the words, revelation. Because it's going to be, um, you know, kind of Revelations 3 and 10. All right. Because it's going to be very tempting to take that chip. Especially, you know, um, since, uh, you know, you, you're not going to be able to eat. And, you know, your stomach's going to be growling. Or, you know, they might have a gun to your wife's head. Or your daughter's head. Or whatever the case may be. You know. Or they might have a brother next to you and they threaten to kill him or something. Or if you don't take this chip, we're going to blow his head off. Right? Because thou hast kept the words of my patience in his truth. Brothers, that's serving his truth. In his truth. Serving Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. All right? Behold, I come quickly. Hold fast. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man 
take thy crown. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar and a temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. And I'll write upon him the name of, of my God and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I'll write upon him my new name. And that's symbolic. All right, so, you know, the Lord's going to keep us from this hour of temptation, man. Because in the day we can say, oh, I'm not going to take that chip. I'm not going to take that chip. But it's through the strength of the Lord that we're going to be able to resist. Okay. The Lord is going to give us that strength to not take it no matter what we're faced with. Even if we're faced with the ultimate price, which is death, we have to refuse it. Okay. So with that, you know, Lord willing to edify, I'm going to give all praise, glory, and honor to you. How about Shemion Shai, about Shem Kakadash, double honor to the apostles, great millstone, and taught me his truth. And blessings, all you sincere labors out of pushing his truth and all sincerity and faith and honesty. Shalom.